San Jose State is very proud to be launching an institute for the study of sports, society, and social change. And we're starting the work today with this conversation. When we think about innovation, we think about creativity, we think about the Silicon Valley, there's one public university in the Silicon Valley, and, and this is San Jose State. San Jose is a melting pot. So you get people from all different races, you get people from all different groups, all different walks of life. So for it to be here in the city of San Jose, where there's so much diversity here, was awesome. Anytime there's a dialogue, I think that's a good thing. Um, I really appreciate the fact that San Jose State is bringing all these people together um, because without a dialogue, nothing really changes. Um, and I hope this continues throughout the future. What kinds of things do you think athletes can do of a constructive fashion to move from protest to progress? Athletes can raise consciousness. People didn't want to hear about how angry you were. They wanted to hear what the issue was. And uh, communicating your anger can really l lead people not to listen to what your issues are. It is not what you talk about. It is what you can put into order and to take action in making things better for those who can't make them better for themselves. We need to educate there are our athletes about the platform they have as media personnel. We need to educate ourselves too and we need to make sure we're taking the time to educate people in the sports media. My kind of personal mantra is don't let what I can't do stop me from doing what I can. All of us as athletes we have a platform and for us to let our platform go without bringing about change would be a waste. I come from a less fortunate area, so a lot of us, our backgrounds are similar, where we didn't have a lot growing up. So we understand what it's like to go without. We understand what it's like to lack. And just because we made it um, or successful um, right now, doesn't mean that we're not still affected by everyday issues. Thank you for having me here and thank you for the sacrifice of you guys up here. And I think it's up to the players to keep the legacy of the sacrifices they've already done. What would you say to today's athletes uh, about the cost of trying to do the right thing? And what I would say to the youngsters is read up on the history of this country. Read up on the heroes that have passed who have broken down the barriers so that we could be successful. We got athletes here with ideas of majesty. On that victory stand, that wasn't the price. The price was getting there. The exaltation of standing up there was about as frightening you could ever you could ever imagine. I had to show solidarity with those who did not have a voice. Do athletes have a responsibility to step up and stand up and say, hey, uh, we, we've got to change. We've got to be better than this. We as a culture have a responsibility, and particularly those who have money and influence, to bring our, our own communities up, our own education level up, to a point where we can participate on every level. What I would hope is that we take the best tenets of sports and to teach those to our kids, because it's all about the hard work. So hopefully it's good. As an Olympic athlete, especially a women athlete, it's really inspiring to hear all the things they went through and how they overcome um, all the different challenges they were faced in their careers. I've actually faced a lot of those challenges myself of overcoming stereotypes and definite beliefs about what a woman should or should not do and I think that the same issues that women face are the same issues that um, 
people face in terms of racism as well. And as I look forward to 2017, again, in the message of you know Dr. Harry Edwards, what are you going to do? Um, and, and looking forward, I think it's time to 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 use that momentum and that whatever it is that's going on to actually propel things forward and to turn it into progress. We have to teach our young people to dream with their eyes open, know what the situation is, and be honest with them about that. They can handle the truth, what they can't handle is the myths. So uh, we need to teach them to learn to dream with their eyes open, not deprive them of their dreams, but learn to dream with their eyes open.